Grand Rising, y'all. <sighs> Today is the day we're going to Serbia for a road trip. We actually got a game going on on the next day. I'm excited. I haven't been playing for the past two games because I got so sick. But I'm excited to go to Serbia, see the new country, looking at different atmosphere, been traveling around. I think that's so beautiful thing, having a different experience itself. I'm just so blessed to have this opportunity to do that and actually gain some knowledge about me. Uh, what, what can we say about that, man? Like coming from the inner city of Miami, moving from Atlanta, now traveling from Czech Republic, going to Serbia with a very high, com very high competitor in Serbia team and wild boards. Um, I can't ever take this for granted. Um, so everything's a learning lesson for me. And man, I'm ready to rock and load and have a good time and <laughs> play my game. And that's all you can do, just predict. You can't really predict anything. Just stay, you gotta stay in control of you at the end of the day. You're playing chess, not checkers at the end of the day. So I believe in that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. If you wanna see more of these things too as well, let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. Tell me what you guys think about the actual country of Serbia. Um, it's gonna be a 10 hour drive and I can't wait to hit, I can't wait to hit the road and see what it is. I'm definitely gonna get some rest though because I will be everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanna make sure my body is rested, recovery and get myself back together. All right, y'all. So don't, don't miss out. Y'all stay sure I pack everything in right now early. I'm going to um, get a few more stuff for football. And I got all the things like a toothbrush, um, a toothbrush, my mouth guard for when I go to sleep. Also, I have my deodorant, my cologne. I want to smell good, man. I don't like smelling funky. I don't know about everybody else, but I like to smell good while I play. If you play good, feel good. You play good, right? I'm gonna have my battery pack. Um, make sure I have my shoulder pads. I got my gloves. I have everything that I need. I just gotta get a few more things, like different attire. If I if it gets cold or not, I just wanna make sure I'm warm too as well because I don't wanna be sick again. So I'm trying to make sure I prevent myself from not being uh, get any cold. Um, I have plenty of options to what I wanna wear on the field and go out there and just do what I gotta do and do my thing. This is what I got going on. I'm waiting on my ride and um, I got everything together. I'm about to go ahead and uh, just relax a little bit, ice up a little bit. I only got a few minutes anyway and get the show on the road. In front of the touchdown zone yeah. for the safety. And you are in the inherent move, like to the touchdown. The momentum, it's not they're, they're, yeah. they're, they're talking about the momentum yeah. takes you into it. Yeah, it's it's not safety, but it was very discu discussed if if it was the momentum. Mom, yeah, momentum the momentum. To, yeah, yeah. Because everyone thinks that Honza didn't want to do this, so. They expect that it was like momentum. It's like in her. But that was the last play of the game, right? Yeah, definitely. It was last game of the play. And he, so, so and referees judge it like it wasn't safety because it was catch. Like if you catch it in the touchdown zone and kneel it. Yeah. So it's it's not safety. But guess what? That's such that's bullshit. That the Lions got fucked. They, they was. They got <laughs> fucked on this call because guess Wait. what? He caught that ball. I mean, he caught that ball at around the seven, six. And to stop, we got a gas station right now. Um, they just relaxing themselves, probably taking a cigarette break. I am just cooling. I got a whole nother, I'm not supposed to be there around seven, probably 650, who knows? It's gonna be a long drive. So we got, 
a good couple of hours to get through the day. Um, I'm excited to travel and see the world. Uh, I can't, I just can't wait to see what Ser Syria, <laughs> Syria, Serbia brings to the table nature wise. I just want to just see the world and have that experience and have that in my bucket list. Like, yo, I just saw Serbia. Like, who could say that? Which American could say that? Like, we gotta be out in the, we gotta be out in the world and just to explore, see things and have different perspective in life. So, I am glad that I'm getting to see all this and having all these experiences at my age right now. So I'm just blessed, man. I'm blessed. I'm grateful. And I'm going to continue to do what I got to do and keep on it leveling up and evolving in front of you guys' eyes. And it's, uh, it's donated from European, European, uh, European Parliament, like better price so it's very it's very better to, it's like green fuel you yeah. know that's so they get a that's what we call a subsidy subsidy yeah but but problem with this flower is uh, is that uh, that uh, this flower really hard damage the the ground and uh, the soil yeah so yeah the uh, if, if you grew up it, it here, so I don't know, five years, you couldn't grow up another, another, I don't know. Yeah. We are just about three hours away from our destination. It's been a long journey. We did two stops today. Uh, I am ready to get out and be in my room, relax and just wind down and get ready for the next day, man. Like I am so tired, just looking at the road, just listening to music, just trying to keep my mind like relaxed and calm. So far, Serbia is very beautiful. It's very agriculture. You can do so many plants, um, farm here. So that's really nice out here. Oh my God, I'm about to die. I need to leave. I don't know what the hell is going on with me. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I am very exhausted. Been driving for a very long time. We finally made it to Serbia. We're closer to our hotel. So we're about like 50 meters. I would say more or less, or less than that. Um. Uh, you can hear it in my voice that I'm tired and I'm just driving around and traveling, which is pretty cool. You get to see the the agriculture itself, just see how rich the grass is and so much land. It's so crazy to me. That's just so beautiful. But uh, I can't wait to be in my in my hotel so I can stretch my legs, write in my journal and um really just go ahead and just tap in and get myself right for tomorrow just got in my room oh man it's a long day and i ain't gonna lie to y'all this this room's trash <laughs> man i'm gonna show y'all something real quick let me show y'all what they got me Girl. in look look at this frame why this is uneven like so i messed this thing up this blood stains dog this is disgusting, bro. <laughs> what the fuck are we staying at? I'm gonna make sure I see put some clothes, heavy clothes on, because I, I don't even trust these beds at all. But I want to say thank you guys for joining me. Uh, seeing these experiences of Serbia itself. Um, I want to say thank you guys. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And man, I'm about to go ahead and shut down a little bit, wind down, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Love.